How y'all doing? This Monday morning. No, Monday. No morning. Uh, let y'all see for y'all self. Carl, you gonna do the, uh, the video thingy? So, yeah. It's 410. Is it just messed up? It just said it, an error occurred. Y'all want to see Shakara? Say hey to the peeps, Shakara. Hello. You want to look at the peeps? She got her new phone case. You want to show the peeps your new phone case? Sure. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I got a little pen. She bling blinging, y'all. Oh, got the. It look, you know, this reminds me of a Bible. Oh. How the old Bibles used to be. Mm -hmm. My mom had a white Bible, and like right here was the the the, the pages was gold right here. Oh, and that's weird. Oh, y'all see, y'all see, y'all see the texture. What's she? Okay, and it came with the pen. Yeah. Where you got it from? Amazon. Yeah. Dot com. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I want to make a quick, okay. quick. Oh, you can do it now. Uh, what do you want me to do it? Uh, I, I guess I can move. I sit on the couch. Y'all see that, right? He go it right there. I'm gonna sit on the couch. What needs to be on it? It's the first seven or six. I think I could only get seven on there. I think it was. Y'all like that? Y'all like that position? Yeah. Me too. It gonna ring, y'all. Green, come say hey to the peeps. Hi. So, yeah. I got a lot to say. I have a little time to say it. And, yeah, it's cold in my house. What it's cold. Huh? What is this? Oh, you need a new ring. Come and get a DVD down here. You tried to run. <laughs> <laughs> you were moving now too. I was like the flying nun, not at the bottom, all the way at the bottom in the corner. The there. last one. To your left. Right here, right? That's your right, right? No, to your left. Where? The last one. The last row. So yeah. I got a lot to say in a little time to say it. Y'all know I actually had a 32 minute video and I didn't make it a part two because I just didn't feel like it. But I'm not trying to do that no more. When I was editing that, I was like, ugh. <laughs> I ain't doing that no more, y'all. I, uh, I can't hang. I love to talk, but uh, uh. Man. But anyways, last year, the beginning of 2015, I had, well, I said I wanted to do three things, but I only ended up doing two. The third thing wasn't really all that, but one of the ones I wanted to do at the beginning of 2015 was to have start me a prayer journal um, to God. I did that. I started from the beginning of January. And I ended December the 31st, so yay for me! Only one can fit. Right. One? Uh-huh. You put them in order? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So I, I accomplished that. And another thing that I wanted to do, and that was, because me and the hubby been married so long, right? We don't really, I don't do holidays or none of that. So I'm like, it's, I'm going to find a creative way to incorporate and giving to one another into this marriage. So I was like, yeah, babe, we could uh, buy each other a gift every month. It don't have to be expensive because it's the thought if you want to get a card or a pair of socks or... A gown, some house shoes, but we have to buy something for each other once every month. 
And um, we did that. We did that, y'all. And that's something we're going to continue into this year as well. Because it's like you spend so much time taking care of the kids, working, home. And after you be married for so long, you just go on about your day, about your life. And I'm like, I think we needed to, like, I wanted to really, like, do something to show, like, I'm thinking about you. Just you. And just take time out to pick a gift for that person. Because when we used to celebrate holidays, that's what that represented, like, anniversaries a birthday sweetest day valentine's day you could do that we did that then but since we don't do them anymore and you could still always give you don't need a holiday to do something for your spouse or your loved one right so yeah that's that was one of the ones I came up with for the year 2015, and we did that, and we carrying that into 2016. Okay, the other one was to do a scrapbook, because I never did a scrapbook, and I always want to do a scrapbook of different things, events that don't happen in, in my life, my kids first first this, or a graduation, or a trip to Mississippi, but I didn't get to that one, but... I don't, I'm, I'm going to get that. I, I want to do a scrapbook, so that's on my list. That's on my bucket list. No, <laughs> but it's on my list. But this year, what I did this year, I did two things. Well, I'm planning on doing two things. I done started to work with those two things. And one of, the, one of those things is... I watched War Room like while we was on this winter break and that movie really really moved me and inspired me you know because that's basically this, that how that old lady is is that's exactly how I am I pray about everything for real I, I'm a what they call a prayer warrior back in the day that's me right you know so that just gave me an idea you know i like to be creative and everything because a couple of years ago i went through i would write scriptures down and stick them on my wall when i kind of first moved here i was doing i had like sticky notes all on my wall with scriptures and stuff i haven't did that in a long time but when i watched the movie it, it, it took me into a whole nother it took it to a whole nother level for me so i'm like you know what I want to have me a prayer room. Started with that thought. And then I'm like, well, I ain't really getting no rooms up in here where I could consider a prayer room because mostly all the rooms are really occupied like that. And um, <clears throat> So, I just decided to have a prayer house. <laughs> Not a prayer room. I'm going to make my whole house a prayer house. So, I started that today. Well, I really started yesterday. So... I said I um, write a scripture uh, once a week, write, write it down on Sunday, and go through my house, top to bottom, upstairs, first floor, basement, and say that prayer through my house. Okay, so... I wrote my scripture yesterday, and this is my first scripture that I'm starting with, y'all. Yeah, I just got some paper, cut it up, because I'm going to have to use a lot of paper, so I'm using regular notebook paper. So I started, I wrote it yesterday, and this is where my first scripture came from about Jacob. How uh, he pulled oil on the stone that he laid made for a pillow and everything. And so I was like, okay, I can start from there. And I got my oil, my olive oil. And when I finish homeschooling at 3 o'clock, because we finish late, because of math. And I, uh... I, what I did, I, 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 I just said my own prayer. I was going to write it out. 
but you know I have my I, I know what to pray for and pray about so I said my own prayer I walked in my house my bottle of oil bless my my oil my olive oil and um I prayed over my front door when you it's coming in and when you're going out I just put like a little cross to, you know yeah symbolize Jesus and I prayed over that interest inside out I prayed right let me show y'all y'all might can see the oil up here I don't know but I put oil right here and I was saying my prayer as I put oil right there when I came around, I put oil right there. Y'all could probably see it a little bit dripping. Right there. And I put oil right here. I'm sure y'all probably can see it. Oh, it ain't no. I put oil right there. Across. And I put it right here. I put it right there. And going into the kids' room. In the kids' room. I did over the closet inside outdoor. I did it on outdoor. Yeah, I prayed over them, them, making a video about. I prayed, did it on that door, right there, my closet door. Prayed over it. Inside out. This door, the back door. I went upstairs. I did it over their bathroom doors, their room doors. I don't think I did over y'all closet door, so. And open my back door. I prayed on my back door. I went in the basement. Basically every entrance. Yeah, bathroom, basement door, laundry room, um, the two rooms down there inside out. I just can't repeat my prayer over and over. And the thing about it is that every time I move, because I moved around a lot, and every time I move, I always prayed over my house when I moved in it. But I've been here so long and everything. I used to pray a lot when my, I had more kids at home and there was more stuff going on. Man, it was deep. I would pray, look. <laughs> My son, shoes. I'm for oil in your blush. I'm for oil in your shoes. <laughs> oh my God! I'm like, Lord, his journey. <laughs> but yeah, that's how deep it got at one point. And then like, I put some on their forehead. I, I put like, you know, self prayer over them. I used to do that a lot with my kids when they was younger. And myself, like <laughs> the blood of cheese. Touch my mind, Father. <laughs> yeah, so I did that. I put, I prayed over Kara. Put some blessed oil. I put some oil on her and Rena and Shan. The hubby and son wasn't here, so I get you know. So I have started my warehouse. <laughs> I'm coming against any and every thing that is not right inside this house and trying to get inside this house <laughs> it got the go yeah spirit of addictions bad it in the name of jesus got the go so yeah oh i just gotta but i'm gonna write a scripture <clears throat> every sunday I found a website that had real good scriptures to use the prayer of your house. And so I think it had like 30 scriptures. So that's at least for 30 weeks. I think my son said 52 weeks in a year. So every Sunday, I'm going to write the scripture out. Monday, I'm going to go through the house. Just walk. I ain't going to do the oil thing no more because that's a wrap. I did that. It's done. I ain't got to put no more oil because that oil will stay up there for a while. And um, and then I'm going to tape it to, to right here. I'm starting right here. When you come into my house, there'll be maybe five right on this side, five on that side of the doorway. 
and then put 10 right there when I do the other I'm gonna put 10 right here on that right there the inch you know them two two walls right there I'm gonna put five on one side and five on the other side so yeah that's what I'm doing for this year so I be doing that, saying prayer over my house, walking through my house every Monday, repeating the scripture over and over till I finish walking through my whole house. And then when I finish, I'm going to tape it to the wall. And I'm going to leave it up there for the whole year, all my scriptures that I use to pray over my house. December 31st, I'll take them all down. Yeah. And that's one thing that's a big thing because we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and wickedness and high places and stuff so you know I don't learn from experience you gotta pray is powerful so and then another thing I'm doing is I'm trying to discipline myself with uh, eating because by me being at home, at home mom, uh, at home school, I'm in a house all the time. And I, <clears throat> you can have a tendency to just eat because you're bored or because you don't have anything to do. So, and then getting older, I, I can't hang. I, I don't need that in my life like that. So, this week, I started Saturday. I, I'm not eating breakfast. I'm just going to, this is my little thing. This is my personal thing for me. You know, because, you know, that spirit of gluttony is deep. And so, I'm doing that, like, each week I'm going to find something different to do. So, this week, no breakfast. I eat lunch and dinner. And then next week, I probably will eat breakfast, no lunch and dinner. The next week, I probably will just eat maybe a banana for breakfast every day. The next week, I'm just I'm just like brainstorming with ideas that came to my mouth. One week, I might just drink smoothies, and that might take my take me through breakfast and lunch. So I'm writing them down in my journal. I have a journal that my daughter gave me, my second oldest daughter, Sade. And I'm gonna use this, what you do matters. I'm just using this to document what I eat. So I, so I won't be repeating it, or I just wanna keep a track of what I'm doing each week. So this one right here from January the 2nd to the 10th, Eat no breakfast when I started. And the next week, eat no lunch. Yeah. So just to document what I'm what I did one week. Cause after a while I'm trying different things. I forget. I lose track. So I'm writing that down. And I got Rena. Cause she have really, really bad breakouts. And I know she eat a lot of sugar. So I told her for the whole month of January, no sugar. Like Kool-Aid sugar, cookie sugar. And when she drink tea, a lot of sugar. I'm like, no, we're going to replace sugar with honey. So when they eat rice, they put sugar in the rice. No, put honey in it. It's just a substitute because I know kids be having sweet tooth. We get, we get sweet tooth every now and again. But we're going to work on uh, her sugar intake. And uh, I got this cocoa butter thing. It's, 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 it's something I made. And it got coconut oil in it. It got cocoa butter oil in it. It got cocoa essential oil in it. Coconut essential oil that I use for my face. I told her she could start. Don't put no lotions on her face. She could use that 
to moisturize her face because it's real good moisture. So she's starting that today. I think she already going through sugar withdrawals already. <laughs> but it's okay. You got to teach them why the young people teach them what really matters. It's say what you do matters. So yeah, I just want to make, I don't know if it's going to be quick video, but I just want to share that with y'all. That's what my 2016 journey consists of. And I've been brainstorming and I think that's it. I don't want to put too much on myself. I want to keep it simple, what I know I can do and be committed to and dedicated to. And I know I can do that. I know I can do the eating thing. I fast. We, I'm a faster. So I can, I'm just trying to figure it out. <laughs> figure out what works for me. You know, everybody, everybody and everybody is different. So, I'm just like experimenting on myself. And that War Room, that movie was awesome. It was good. Man, it was deep. It really, it really spoke to my inner man, my spiritual man. And it birthed something inside of me that done came forth for my own home. Like I say, I don't have a room yet that I could call a war room, but I got a whole house. I, I'm just going to... You got war. Because Satan is busy, people. For real, for real. And when he know you're a child of God, he going to come at you even more. So, you got to have your armor on. Armor. Armor. Armor, armor. Armor, armor. Armor, armor. But, uh... So, I guess that's about it. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh my God. I hope when I upload this video on my computer, it don't traumatize, the tad don't traumatize me because I'm like, seriously, 32 minutes. I was uncomfortable about that. That just seemed like too long, but hey, it is what it is because I feel like this. I mean, we watch, we could sit down and watch a TV program that's like two hours long, really, with commercials. And we'll watch the commercials, too, and everything. And there's a lot of stuff with that we can do that take us past a half an hour to do it. So I'm like, it ain't nothing. It is what it is. But I'm not going to make it a habit. I ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> All right, y'all. I hope everybody have a blessed Tuesday. No. I got a video up, a little short video up I'm putting up Tuesday. I might put this up Wednesday. So, yeah, I think I'm putting this up Wednesday. So, on that note, people, today is Monday. And I hope everybody continue to have a blessed week, a blessed Wednesday. A safe Wednesday, a productive Wednesday, and uh, send them prayers up. Yeah, and I mean when we, I know people make New Year's resolutions. So I'm really not into it on that type of level, but I do, I do like to set goals for myself and my house, my and my marriage, everything. I just like trying new things and taking stuff to another level and everything, and um. But I like to really go in where it's gonna like really benefit me as a as a, as a person, uh, um, and um and definitely on a spiritual level. I always try to keep it keep my my um uh, my spiritual lifestyle in 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 it. You know what I'm saying? How it's gonna benefit me even on that level, not just. A fleshly level but on the spiritual level with God so that's why I have to think and just pray about it and get it together so on that note I'm out y'all I'll see y'all in my next video mm. the vocals dog <laughs> peace and love
share a song. Bye.